guys, Heather from Transformation Kennels, and today I'm going to be showing how to self-administer um, vaccines to your American Bully Puppy. We have Depot and Cookies and Cream Pups, and they're going to be getting their six-week um, vaccine. We're going to do the Spectra 5. Um, the is another Spectra one to do for six-week puppies. They can get the five or the six. We got the five. And I'm going to show you how to self-administer. So on the little puppies, on the six week, they have three injection sites you can choose from. You want to go in the skin. It's a subcutaneous injection. It's not going into the muscle. So on this guy, we're going to do his injection right here on his skin. You just pull it up like a tent, and you're going to go in the middle right into the skin. So uh, you do not need to use alcohol right. pads on puppies. All right, so we're not going to use alcohol. We're just going to um, reconstitute the injection and give it. You can just toss the stuff aside because at the end you can wrap all the stuff up in the pads and just throw it out. All right, so first you have to draw up the liquid. So we have our liquid here. Also to the um, the stickers are on these vials. You're going to save these stickers for their shot records. And draw up your, your vaccine. Let's get it out of the container. Okay. So. First draw up the liquid vial. And the total injection should be one ml. So make sure you get most of the liquid that you can. And inject it into your powder. Okay. And then you just want to shake it up a little bit until it turns completely into liquid. So you're not going to use alcohol um, or anything like that. Um, to, you don't need any antiseptic on the puppies. It's not recommended actually for dogs. It can interfere with the vaccine. So you just pick your site and can inject. There's actually different sites you can choose from. You're going into the skin. It's not going into the muscle. It's a subcutaneous injection. Okay. So we're ready to draw up the vaccine. Make sure you don't have any air in it, but that you get all of it out. All right, so you want to get the air out first. That should we do with one ml. All right, so for him, we're going to do his injection on right here on his neck, the back of his neck. You just pull it up like a tent and once you go in you're going to pull back the plunger to aspirate for blood if you do get blood back you need to take it out pick a new site if there's no blood you can continue with the injection so let's go ahead and sorry buddy okay all right so no blood go ahead and administer the vaccine i know all done all right um, you can just take the needle off. You're going to want to dispose of the needles, something, and just toss your carpet aside. It's fine for now, but the vials you do want to save because you need the stickers from them for the puppy's shot record later. So just hold on to the vials. Also, we're going to monitor the puppies for um, at least 15 minutes, 15-20 minutes after they get their vaccines. 
just to make sure that you know there's no swelling and that they don't have get a fever or anything like that so he's done and we're gonna move on to the next puppy all right Also, before you self-administer vaccines to your puppy, it might be a good idea to talk to your vet about it first. Um, it is very efficient. It saves a lot of time and money for these, sure on vaccines. So. Okay, good. We're gonna pull back, check for blood. No blood return. You can go ahead and administer a vaccine. So he did a really good job. That's why we want to have some treats on deck. Dispose of your needle and do a cup. Put your garbage aside and we are done. We're going to watch them for, again, about 15 minutes um, just for any signs of any adverse effects from the vaccine, swelling or otherwise. To massage their neck for a second too to help absorb. All right, so our little black try from the Cookie and Debo's litter is all vaccinated for his six weeks. We got the last of the four Debo and Cookies and Cream pups that we're going to give his six week vaccine, his distemper. We're using the Spectra 5 on these guys. And we're saving the stickers from the vials for the puppy's shot records. Again, we're going to draw up the liquid, inject it into the powder. Okay. His name should be Snoopy. Snoopy. <laughs> right. Now we got the liquid in there. We're going to shake the vial up until it turns completely into liquid so we can draw up one ammo for the vaccine. We are doing the vaccines on American Bully Pups, but you can do the same steps on any puppy pretty much. out of it and make sure there's one ml you want to pick a site um, to go in sub Q we're not going into the muscle on the puppies there's you can pick different spots but this right here is where we're gonna go in at I think actually the package even gives you in little instructions like little the sites you can pick from and little tips and stuff. So, again, when you get the needle in, pull back the plunger, aspirate for blood. If you see blood, pick a new site. Or if there's no blood, go ahead and administer the vaccine. All right, so it looks good. It might sting them just, just for a second. 
but it'll be okay because we're going to give them some treats afterwards. All right, and we're going to watch them for 15 minutes or so. Just monitor them for any adverse effects. Make sure you have some kind of cup to dispose the needles in. And you're good to go. A little blue try. Four boys. Their little injection sites look good, that they're not swelling up or bleeding, and that everybody's doing okay. Hey, guy. They're sleepy. Thank you so much for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. For more videos like this one and to stay tuned in to our new Reese and Doc puppies, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, Transformation Kennels, and hit the bell for notifications. Also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Transformation Kennels and at Earl underscore the double underscore Merle. And don't forget to like this video and drop some comments below.